Today I have a review of the Trader Joe's Face and Body Sunscreen Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Water Resistant 80 Minutes. While you're here, join my mission to prevent future skin cancers by subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Enriched with vitamin C and E, a lightweight formula, oxybenzone and octanoxate free, fragrance free, para free, oil free, six fluid ounces. This baby is a big sunscreen and I paid around $5 for it. If I can find my receipt, I will pop it up here. I thought I was purchasing the popular one that everybody was reviewing. However, that is not the case. This is a separate Trader Joe's sunscreen. So if you've seen this one in the store and wondered, hey, is this any good? I'm about to share my opinions. So take it with a grain of salt. Watch this review test and then I will wrap it up with my final thoughts. This is probably old news, but I got my hands on the Trader Joe's sunscreen. I think this is the one that everybody was raving about. It's SPF 30. It is all chemical. So I will be applying a foundation with mineral sun SPF on top. <laughs> all right, so let's see. That's not enough for my face. That's, that's not enough. <laughs> it's like a whipped thick whipped texture. See, it's kind of gloopy. Okay. That's a lot of sunscreen. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this was the appropriate amount. It seems like a lot. It definitely smells, it's a light sunscreen scent. You know that, that sunscreen scent I'm talking about. It was a lot. Oh, I'm not gonna like this today. Well, it shouldn't leave a white cast because it's chemical, so. I'm not gonna put it on my eyelids because it's all chemical and I wear contacts and that tends to, like if you rub your eye and you get chemical sunscreen, it burns my eyeballs. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, it's rubbing in. It feels thick on my skin. I got it all over. Why did I wear why did I, why did I wear a black shirt? Okay, let's let this dry down. I must have like a little bit of like chapped or dry skin here because I've got like a little bit of a burning sensation right through here. It's like a it's like a Yeah, it's like a like a burning sensation right through here. Let me let this dry down and I'll be right back. 10, 15 minutes, see you soon. All right, it's been about 10 minutes since I applied the Trader Joe's sunscreen. The burning stopped around seven to 10 minutes, um, only recently. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit on for about two more minutes, but I don't think it's gonna dry down anymore. When I touch it, I can tell it comes off of my fingers. If that makes sense. So, and then right here, I, it has not set down there. I don't feel like it's set down because when I touch my face, it's literally coming off of my fingertips. You can see the glow and it's very glowy. You can see, I would not wear this by itself because I am a natural to matte sunscreen gal. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put makeup on top and see how this wears and I'll be back in two hours for a check-in and let you see it in natural light. Be right back. All right, unfortunately, I cannot give you a two hour wear check-in after foundation. Mm -mm. I put on my normal B Misha foundation, this um, SPF 42, perfect cover. It is medium to full coverage BB cream and it's not sitting down on the sunscreen. When I'm applying it, it's just moving around. Let's see if I can, uh, it's just slipping and a sliding. Like I just wiped the sunscreen off. Do you see in how shiny it is? It's not sitting down like this. I feel like it's just mixing with the sunscreen, if that makes sense. And I don't want that. This is a hot mess. I am gonna take my child <laughs> to drop him off at school with a face like this because I don't have time to redo it. So I guess I will let you know if it ever, what it does in two hours I'll, or in an hour, I'll check in, but I'm not putting any more makeup on top of this hot mess. It's just slipping and sliding. Ugh, it feels gross on my face. Um, and I love this, you know this. This is a holy grail foundation. I am back from taking my son to school. This sunscreen has been, I've had this on for like 45 minutes. 
Look at that. Look how shiny that is through my makeup. Through my foundation. That's gonna, that's gonna be a no. That's gonna be a no. I look like the Tin Man. <laughs> and it just, it comes off on my hand. Like you can't tell because my foundation is the, the shade of my skin, but I can feel the sunscreen and makeup coming off of my fingers. I'm gonna go wash this off. I apologize. I'm not gonna test this more than a day. The burning at the beginning should have been an indication, <clears throat> sensation, as well as the fact that it won't, it's not doing well with makeup. All right, final thoughts. Although I don't know how many final thoughts I can have, what more I could say about this, except as you saw, blah, I do not recommend this one. Um, of course, you know, it's just my opinion to so take that worth a grain of salt. I also need to say that after 45 minutes, even though it says fragrance free, I still smelt that scent of sunscreen 45 minutes. And it's probably because the sunscreen never really sits down. Now this might be better for your body, but I think that it's gonna rub off on your car seats when you sit down, which you know, that's a mess. I think it's just gonna rub off on your clothing because anytime you touch it, you just you get it on your hands. It does not form that film that typically needs to be formed. Now, this is an all chemical sunscreen. So, <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> This is an all chemical sunscreen, so I wasn't gonna wear this on a regular basis anyways. I was just testing this out for you all because my dermatologist and oncologist, because I'm a melanoma cancer survivor, I need a mineral sunscreen daily. So this would not have worked for me, but I was hoping, I was hoping this would work because it's six fluid ounces. I mean, if you need a cheap sunscreen, would not recommend, so.